quickly go over this controller before we do a review on it. Um, bit of a joke. Uh, you know, for 50 bucks, at least I got it to my door the next day, and I needed them right away because my um, my smaller one is failing. Um, they're trying to say that this controller is 1,000 to 1,500 watt, which is impossible for 12 FET. Well, it says 12 tube, but it is 12 FET. Um, it's no bigger, the case is no bigger than um, the one I have on the bike now. So I'd say it's a 500 watt, and then they can't really make up their mind if it's 48, 60, or 64 volts. There is no such thing as self-detecting. There's just a resistor in this that sets the cutoff voltage of the LVC. So what is it? I mean, is it, I'm, like the one I got on the bike now says 48 to 60 volt and yet it cuts off at 51 volts so I can't even use my 48 volt pack um, so that's an issue um, so if anything I would say that this is a 500 watt 60 volt um, what other thing we got it says it says it's the square wave or sine wave it's uh, compatible with both stronger climbing quieter motor um, he didn't sh he didn't ask, share any type of um, there's no pictures of any, any diagram or setup or anything. So I really can't recommend this guy. I'll leave a link if you're interested and you're in a pinch. But um, it's not a it's not a big controller really. It's a, it's a 500 watt controller at 20 to 30 amp. It's generic. Um, even the leads coming off the phase leads are really thin, which you'll see when we do the review on it. We'll pull it open and take a look on the inside. For this to be a 500 watt it would have to have a spreader in the middle and then uh, fets on each side of the spreader so it's just the spreader is over here just like on a standard 500 watt and it's 12 fets so we'll go into it but I figured I'd share that and there's something else uh, printing errors on the actual controller itself maybe they're they were uh, uh, stepping on someone's toes with um, um, copyright or something instead of putting brushless on each controller they got rushless which is kind of weird which we'll uh, we'll get into well here's the controllers in question um the made in china they had a qc pass box or a seal on it it's all in chinese there's no documentation inside or out um, obviously that's a 500 watt <laughs> Which I'm not complaining about. I mean, that's what I want. It's uh, 500 watt at um, it says 26 to 30 amp, which is right along with the 500 watt there. Uh, yeah. So here's what it looks like. The documentation on the actual plugs itself are all in Chinese, so they're not going to do you any good. Even the power wires going into the uh, controller itself are very very thin definitely 500 watt we'll see if we can guess what stuff is here so we got these two white ones here this is your probably your self-learning you join these together for self-learning which we're gonna find out uh, this one here would be your three speeds no that would be your throttle because you got your black and white or black and black and red for your five volts and then your green would be your sense wire so that's your throttle this one black blue and brown that would be your three speed switch um, and then you got your other ones with which would be your um, high side and low side break and then these red ones here you can just delete those those are for alarms and most people don't use those anyway and the hulls are pretty much the same so really you don't need the documentation like this green one here this is for your speedo if you had one Pretty straightforward uh, I don't see any uh, what do you call it the um, for the pedal sensor there's nothing on there for this so it doesn't have that uh, that option cool let me uh, put you on a harness and we'll pull this baby apart. It says in Chinese 30%, I don't know what that is, and then it says 48 to 64 volts. Hopefully you can see. Um, a 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replace the rear controller on the bike for now just to see how these perform. I don't want to do both and find out they're garbage, you know what I mean? Um, what really threw me off is the misprint and the misspelling of brushless controller. As you can see, they both say brushless. And it's not, a, it's not like one controller has got that issue. They, they both say that. Brushless controller. So it's like they had a, a feud with another company, and that's what they do. They change the name to avoid being uh, sued. There are no seals on the screws, no lock washers, nothing, just plain screws. If you get these wet, the water will trickle in and um, destroy the controller. So that has to be addressed. Keep what you pay for, I guess. I paid extra just to get it here faster, but if I want it cheaper, I can get it for like 20 bucks. All right. Wow, these things are old school, man. Look at the green board. Check out the resistors. Yikes. Hell, I'm surprised it doesn't have an LED on the board. <laughs> That's how old school they are. It's just... Ooh, brutal. At least they doubled up on the... Um, they doubled up on the solder. But there's no extra metal in there or anything. You'd have to run a wire through there. Uh, what's the voltage on these caps? Okay, at least they did good on the caps. 80 volts for the caps. So 71 volts will be fine. And you definitely get what you pay for. There's barely any heat shrink, uh, any paste in there, as you can see. It's not spread throughout. Um, see if I can find some documentation on the vets. Within spec, for me anyway. Um, Continuous drain current is 80 amps. Um, drain source voltage is 75. So we're we're doing pretty good. I mean, if it's only 30, pulling 30, 20 to 30, 35 amp, it's not not even getting close to the uh, maximum on the FETs. And I usually run 71 volts, so we're with, we're in within spec. Um, it's yet I had to see if um, what the actual cutoff voltage is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Test it on different uh, size packs just to see if it'll actually fire up. Uh, just give me a minute to uh, get set up here. Ready. This is a 1500 watt, just so you know. That's a 1500 watt. That's a 500 watt. <laughs> All right. So we got the tester on there. It's on the three phases. It's on the halls. Um, as you can see, that's definitely the throttle. Uh, these two are positive, one negative, and this is a, well, it's a 49 volt battery, fully charged, it's 50 something volts. Um, this plug here is reversed, so I had to reverse the um, polarity on the other end. Let's just double check to make sure everything is hooked up properly. Got magic popping. We have our pick light, if you can see that, it's flickering. We have life. Sweet. So at least we know it works. The uh, resistors on the controller are mildly warm, but not hot. Um, Okay, let's try it at a different voltage. We're going to add the um, booster pack, which is uh, takes it up to 71 volts. So we'll put the positive through the booster pack. And... Well, this is a little sketchy. Let's 
trying to figure out if I got this right. So the negative is going into positive. Right, we'll try it. Oh, shit. Okay, the <laughs> it's flickering. And it's very bright, and it is still turning. I just wanted to check those cheap-looking resistors to see if they're... how hot they're going to get. They're definitely warmer, so that's definitely in the 71 volt range. Yep, nothing's overheating, so this controller might be alright. Cool. Alright, so what I'm going to do... Try and disable this without blowing anything up. What we're going to do is we're just going to replace the rear controller because that's the one that's been giving me the issue. And we'll do that in another video. I'll probably do it tonight and make it a separate video. But I just basically wanted to go over this. If you're looking for something, well, I wouldn't say it's like cheap. I've, I've been able to find controllers for 20 to $30. But if you're looking for a 20 to 30 amp 500 watt controller um, delivered next day, this is a, a good deal. Um, like they said on their website, the uh, controller will show up at your door new or, or uh, new or used not new or used but uh, it'll be a um, an older model that uh, is still new new old stock this one is definitely an older one you can just tell by the looking at the board uh, I haven't seen a board like that for a while and like I said normally with a board like this you would see this big ass LED on it and show you the status of it which I'm surprised it doesn't have but uh, there you go. Quick test and review of um, a cheap controller.